Let's see if salvation awaits here in Amaranth on Voyage 8. I'm like doing my best to not start every episode with all right, but like it's it's difficult. Shelter! Oh no. You again! You've meddled in my affairs for the last time. Now you must face the consequences. Yeah, you ain't that intimidating. What? What is what is the smoke? It's getting hard to <laughs> normally. Okay, she's just gonna kill her son, that's fine. She activated the shelter security system. This gas will kill us in a matter of minutes. Luckily, the elders were wise enough to keep an antidote nearby. There's a seed vault in the shelter that contains all the ingredients to make a cure. We should go open <laughs> the sealed vault quickly <laughs> before we find out just how potent this poison really is. <coughs> find the cure before it's too late! <laughs> Another security mechanism? <laughs> nice try, but... It won't stop me. Good. Now let's get inside. Hopefully the seeds are intact. Oh no, Born has fallen. Is he okay? The poison has weakened me. You'll need to plant the seeds and make the cure. <coughs> Can we just establish how, like, not helpful- Okay, fine. The dude is giving us info, but I, like, he's, like, not helpful. The seeds are on the shelf behind me. There should be instructions with them. He's in bad shape. This cure could be his last hope. Because the poison is magically not going into this room, so. When planting new seeds, make sure you use fresh soil and plenty of light from the glowstone and plants will grow quickly. Watch out for the jungle vines! If they are exposed to the glowstone for too long, their strength becomes uncontrollable. Too bad we don't have this technology back on Earth. That should do it. Now we can plant the seeds. Soil still looks good. Seeds might easily take root. Yeah, I was like, are we just gonna leave it there? But the jungle vines, though, I was like, no, no, we're not. Wow, the botanist wasn't kidding! These vines grow super fast! And they're incredibly strong, too! I'm not tall enough to reach the lever, but something long would do the trick. What is this? Raptor skull, alright. Oh, cure. Now there's just one thing left to do. You must drink it. No, I cannot allow you to sacrifice yourself. I gladly accept my fate, knowing I can give my life for the future of my people. I'm sorry, this is just like over the top dramatic. Like, I'm just not feeling this. Okay. I know this is the right thing to do, but it doesn't make it any easier. Borden's gone, but he didn't die in vain. His people will live. I'll make sure of that. I'm sorry, what exactly did he do to help out? Well, I guess he took us in and enabled us to get things done. But like, why he had to die though? Borden, rest in peace. You are the real hero here. Goodbye, friend. What? I'm sorry, we literally did all the work and he's the hero? Like, it sucks that he's dead, I wish he wasn't, but like... Excuse me, he hasn't done that much.
Um, I shouldn't go back until I make an antidote and clear the area in the hall. I thought I had made the antidote. There's something tangled in the vines. I'll need to cut them to get it. Come here, finally! They should also take care of the gas and the hull. Um. Plate piece. Uh, blue crystal, all right. Now then, collectible. Now the area open now. Time to explore. This combination of botany and technology is a fitting symbol for the people of Roni, but the indentation makes me think something's missing. This... Th does this look... Does this lock need a claw-shaped key? Only one way to find out. Bell tower. One more slider is needed to open this egg. Oh, there's one left. These rings on the side walls might be useful. If I pull some rope through them, I could lift the bell up. If I could strike this bell loudly enough, it would warn some everyone nearby, summoning them. Hopefully, to the shelter. Alright. Not a thing right now. Cool. Clearly knew what I was doing. Spiked claw sundering. Hello? Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Hello, Miss Cleeks. Complete the design by rotating the metal rings. Rotating one ring may affect another ring. That's great. Oh, I see. 
Oh, you don't. Cool. Is it time to face the matriarch? Alrighty then. Memorial room. Where's my last dinosaur? Seriously though, where is the last dinosaur? Right there. Sauropod. Or whatever it's called. Sauropod. Your efforts are futile. I have the final piece. And my soldiers will deny the Karnas people entrance. This is the end of the line. Seriously, what is your problem? We'll see about that. I'm not close to giving up. There has to be a way to disrupt the barrier. There has to be a way to get past the barrier. Some way to tear it down. Judging by the picture above, a sundial goes here. Oh, a sundial. A raptor skull is missing. Sword blade and Ronian crest. went down with a bang! Wait a second, there is something down there! I should shift the bell and investigate. I'm 100% sure nobody heard anything from that. No, I'm doing bubble popper instead of that. The sun vial is missing. Aha! That is um, a cool ornate adamantine blade. Interesting. Seed vault. Oh, hello. What happened here? He. He gave his life to save his people. He knew there was no other way. <laughs> well, I'm, I guess he was like, okay, uh, it's me or this stranger from another world, and the stranger from another world has clearly done everything so far and is the one who can actually do the saving, so to speak. I can, but also maybe he just can't face his mother, so it's just like, yeah, this is for the good of my people. So yeah, in that sense, his sacrifice was was for his people, actually, because he chose to let the per person who can actually help live instead of being selfish, so to speak. Yeah, no, that's true. I'll stay with him until you deal with his mother and open the portal. Then we'll go through it together. Oh, the shelters literally go to another world. <laughs> Again. Poor Ida. I'll do my best to stop the matriarch and save everyone. Alright. Angled vines, la 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 la.
Seriously, what is his mom? What is the matriarch's problem? <laughs> like, it, there's not a lot of backstory here, right? Or any like character development or anything. This matriarch is just like randomly evil. Like, okay. Great! Now that shrine, now that the shrine is activated, I can charge the kinetic beacon. Now some light from the glowstone. I don't know why we know to do this, but okay. Oh! Oh, right. The vines. Yep. No! Stop! You don't understand what's at stake! I won't let you condemn my tribe! Sure, my kinetic beacon is strong enough to withstand her attack! is gone. I've destroyed it myself. I see that now. <laughs> Two second 180. Whoops. Sudden clarity of mind. I was blinded by love and fear for my tribe. I wanted to protect them. But instead I denied them peace. There has been too much pain on both sides. It's time to end it once and for all. It's time to reunite the tribes. Thank you, finally. Go. Be their hero. The hero I could never be. You'll need this to activate the portal. Uh, yes. Yes, probably. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take that as she died. Whoops. Yeah, okay, we're literally just sending them to another world. <laughs> Again. Aha, I think I found a use for the Matriarch's amulet. Everyone move to a new world. And the meteor comes again in a couple thousand years. not get to go home now do we thank you for playing a maritime voyage to burning sky
Oh, was the Matrix name Celia Lore? Okay. Do we recognize any voiceovers here? Lauren Singer. I recognize. Wait, Jonathan Cook was the professor? Dang, I did not catch that. Lonnie Manella, that- okay, that must be someone in the bonus game. She was not in the main game. Alright, that was the main game. Well done, you have completed the game and can now access the extra content. That was the main game of Amaranth Time Voyage 8. Um, good story overall. I mean, we're gonna play the bonus game as well, but I'm just saying, like, overall, I mean, a good story. It's a typical Amaranth Time Voyage story, but it's cool. Um, I typically find that Apex games seem a little rushed in the story. Like, the gameplay itself is, is really solid, like, it's good. It's a little rushed on the story part, in my personal opinion. I kind of understand why, because they put out so many games. Um, so they probably have like really tight time schedules though, and stuff like that. And hoppers are also very short, so it's it's difficult to get like a super fleshed out story. So, you know. We get what we get, but we all know that, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, that was the main games. We do have the bonus game left and the extra contents. We're gonna check that out in the next episode and such. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see ya!